Hello friends, how are you? Hope everyone is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 8, quadrilaterals, question number 1 to 10 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. The first section is mathematical reasoning. Question number one. The bisectors of angles of a parallelogram forms which shape? So let's take bisector. So parallelogram, let me take a little bit. Parallelogram means two opposite sides are parallel and equal. And bisectors of the angle. So this is the bisector of particular angle. So this one is another one, this one is third one, this one is fourth one. So if you can see this bisector forms, bisectors of the angles forms rectangle. It cannot be trapezium, it cannot be rhombus because when bisects this, you know, of angles, the angle, interior angle of this, whatever the figure form, that is 90 degree. Now for rhombus, it is not 90 degree. So either it will form either rectangle or maybe square. Here the option is rectangle. Square is not there. Therefore, square is not the answer. And kite cannot be. Rhombus cannot be. So answer is b rectangle next d e and f are the midpoints of b c a c and a b of an equilateral triangle a b c so let me draw one equilateral triangle a b c all sides are same then d is the midpoint of b c so d is somewhere here then e is the midpoint of a c so E is this and F is the midpoint of AB. So F. Then triangle DEF. So triangle DEF. This triangle is blank. So obviously it will be an equilateral only. Reason. Let's understand say FE. F E is the midpoints of A B and A C, which will be par as per the midpoint theorem, it will parallel and it will be F E will be half of B C. That means half of all angle, all sides are same. Let's let's say that is X, so it is X by 2. Same way D E half of say D E midpoint theorem it will be half of ab and ab means half now ab means x so it is again x by 2 same way which one is left fd df that is half of ac so ac is again x so therefore it is x by 2 so all these three sides are same half of the equilateral bigger triangle abc next in a triangle ABC, PQR are the midpoints of sides BC, CA and AB respectively. If AC equals to 21, so AC equals to 21 centimeter, BC equals to 29 centimeter and AB equals to 30 centimeter. They are all midpoints. The perimeter of quadrilateral ARPQ, so ARP. Q, this parameter. So that parameter of AR PQ equals to AR plus RP plus PQ plus AQ. Now AR, so AR is a half of AB. So AB is 30, that means AR is 15 because R is a midpoint. RP, so RP this, correct? So RP is the midpoint of 
we can say two sides of the triangle which will be half of third side that means AC AC by 2 and AC is 21 so 21 by 2 plus PQ so this PQ again P and Q are the midpoints so it will be the half of AB and AB is how much 30 so it is 15 then AQ AQ is this AQ is the half of AC so AC is how much 21 so 21 by 2 correct therefore 30 plus 21 so 51 so answer is C next the diagonal AC and BD of a parallelogram ABCD intersects each other at point O angle DAC equals to 32 degree and angle AOB equals to 70 degree then angle DBC equals to so let's say this is a parallelogram parallelogram A B C D diagonal AC so diagonal AC and diagonal BD so B D intersect at O so O if angle D A C that is D a and C that means this angle this angle is 32 degree and angle A O A O B that means this angle 70 degree find the angle D B C so D B C that means this angle so so this angle angle OCB will be 32 degree correct because it's alternate interior angles so it is 32 degree and this will be 110 70 straight line so this will be 110 therefore triangle OBC sum of three angles one of the angle is o b c equals to 180 degree minus inside the bracket 110 plus 32 so it is 180 degree minus how much so 2 4 1 142 correct therefore it is 8 and then uh, 7 minus 4 so 3 38 38 is the answer so answer is A or we can say that here in triangle OBC angle OCB plus angle CBO is supposed to be equal to 70 degree therefore angle CBO equals to 70 degree minus 32 that is 38 that's another way simple way next which of the following statement is false a diagonal of a parallelogram divides into two congruent triangles true say this is the you can say parallelogram if I draw a diagonal this triangle and this triangle are congruent so this is true hence a is not the answer opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal that is also true equal as well as parallel hence b is not the answer opposite angles of a parallelogram are supplementary angles false they are equal And C is the answer. Or we can say adjacent angles. That means this angle plus this angle equals to 180. So answer is C. It's a false statement. Next. Two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 4 is to 5. Then the angles are. So this 
is the parallelogram. So this with say angle X and this angle Y. So angle X and angle Y are in the ratio 4 is to 5. If you see the option, say option A, 90, 90, equal, it is not in the ratio 4 is to 5. So cannot be. 40 and 140. So if I divide this 40 by 4, 1 and a 10 degree and here this is 50 degree supposed to be. So if 40 is the right, then this is supposed to be 50 degree. Cannot be 140 because that is not in the 4 is to 5 ratio. Same with this 60 degree. If I divide it by 4, 15 degree, then 15 phi is a, this is supposed to be 75, not 120. So C is not the answer. Answer is D. If I divide this by 4, that means 20 degree, then this will be 100 degree. See the ratio 80 by 100. So it is 4 by 5. So answer is D. No need to calculate. However, if we want to calculate, let's say angle X equals to 4A. Angle Y equals to 4, uh, 5A. And 4A plus 5A equals to 180. Adjacent angle sum supposed to be 180. Therefore, A equals to 180 by 9. Therefore, it is 20 degree. Hence, angle X equals to 80 and angle y equals to 100 already we got from the without doing any calculations next in triangle abc ad and be are medians so ad that means this and be that means this so ae equals to Median means AE equals to EC and BD equals to CD. BE is parallel to DF. So BE, that is this, is parallel to DF. Then CF equals to K times AC. So CF, CF means this, equals to K times AC. So relations we have to find out between CF and AC. Fine. So if you see this triangle, triangle B E C. This D is the midpoint, and this is parallel to BE. So D is a midpoint, midpoint of BC. DF is parallel to B. Therefore, in triangle B, E, C, DF as per midpoint theorem, DF equals to half of B, E. Correct? DF equals to half of B, E. Now, let's understand B is parallel to DF. What we have to find out? CF and AC. Okay. This is CD. CD is CD equals to BD. Okay. Half of B at the same time, this F will be F will be the midpoint of E E C. That means this and this are equal as per the midpoint theorem. So we can conclude like this EF equals to FC. We have to find out this CF. So CF equals to CF equals to EF. CF equals to EF and EF is half of okay CF CF means it is half of EC because as per midpoint theorem F is the midpoint of EC therefore EF equals to half of EC and EC is half of AC 
therefore it is one fourth of AC C F so it is K equals to one fourth next the diagonals of a rectangle P Q R S intersects at O and angle R O Q equals to 60 degree then angle O S P that's what we have to find out so diagonal of the rectangles so let's say this is the rectangle P Q R S diagonal so Q S P R are the diagonals they intersect at O if angle R O Q so R O and Q that means this angle equals to 60 degree then find angle O O S P means this angle so obviously angle S O P equals to 60 degree this angle vertically opposite angles now if it's, that is a 60 degree let's talk about triangle P O S the sum of angles of this triangle supposed to be 180 degree therefore angle S P O plus angle P O S plus angle O S P equals to 180 degree. Now S P O S that is this is no 60 degree therefore angle S P O plus angle O S P equals to 120 degree. Sum of that two angles is supposed to be 180 degree uh, 120 degree. Correct. Now, if you see that this is a rectangle, so rectangle diagonals of the rectangles bisects each other. That's the property of the diagonal. That means OP equals to OR, and the diagonal of rectangles itself are equal. So that means this is equals to. QO equals to OS. That means this part, this bisected diagonals are same. That means in triangle POS, in triangle POS, PO equals to OS. Therefore, the opposite angle to this two sides are same. That means opposite angle to side PO that is PSO that is this OSP is same as this SPO so SPO will be written as OSP equals to 120 therefore angle OSP equals to 120 by 2 that means 60 degree so answer is C next If diagonals of quadrilateral bisects each other at right angles, then it is so diagonal of any quadrilateral if bisects bisects first of all, and that too it is at each other and forms a right angle, then it would be either rectangle, uh, it would be either rhombus or square. Correct. So parallelogram may or may not be because uh, rhombus and square, a square is a parallelogram. Trapezium, no. Rectangle, no, because it won't form right angle. It will bisect, but not at right angle. So rhombus or square. So answer is C. Next. The measure of all the angles of parallelogram, if an angle 
adjacent to the smallest angle is 24 degree less than the twice the smallest angle. Let's say this is the parallelogram. Rather than that, let me draw a little bit like this so that you can understand smallest and largest angle. So this one is the smallest angle. Let's say X. Let's say P, Q, R, S. And this one is the largest angle. Let's say Y. We know X plus Y equals to 180 degree. Correct. And this angles will be same as Y. This angles same as X. Opposite angles are same. Supposed to be same. So X and Y. Now smallest angle is X. And adjacent to smallest angle means Y. So Y equals to twice the smallest means 2X minus 24. Therefore, smallest angle X plus largest adjacent angle Y that is 2X minus 24 equals to 180 degree. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. Therefore, 3x equals to 180 degree plus 24. Therefore, it is 402, 204 degree. Hence, x equals to 6, 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 is 2, becomes 24. So, 8, 68 degree. 68 degree means this. That is the smallest one. So largest one will be 180 minus 68. That is 211, 112. So answer is C. So that's all about the solutions of question number 1 to 10, chapter number 8, quadrilaterals of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Pavesh Patel from Vitram Academy. For any query doubt suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is Vitalam Academy at the rate gmail.com. That is V I W T H I L M A C A D E M Y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.